What a night for the Virginia Tech Hokies and their fans. I'm Bruce Rader. Down 17 points in the first quarter, Virginia Tech roared back last night and was perhaps just one first down away from upsetting third-ranked Boise State. But after four lead changes in the second half and plenty of mistakes by both teams, the Hokies returned to Blacksburg once again with memories of the big one that got away. Chris Reckling was on the sidelines at FedEx Field last night. He has this report. Bruce, this game had the feel of a BCS bowl game. Two top ten teams with national championship aspirations. The Hokies could not have played any worse in the first quarter, but give the boys from Blacksburg a ton of credit. They never gave up. I'm tremendously proud of the way our kids fought back. But it's, you know, we, we did some things that weren't very good to get in the hole. Tech started digging that hole on the second play from scrimmage when Tyrod Taylor mishandled this snap. The lost fumble led to an easy three Boise State points. Then on the next possession, Boise State blocked a punt. It led to a touchdown pass over the middle. Frank Beamer's special teams, not so special last night. A blocked kick, you could have blocked that kick. Later in the quarter, a roughing the punter penalty gave the Broncos new life. Kellen Moore's touchdown pass to Tony Galanda made it 17 nothing Broncos. Well, just, just some critical, just some things that's not Virginia Tech. But the tide turned in the second quarter, and the Hokies made a game of it in the second half. This Tyrod Taylor touchdown pass to Jared Boykin gave the Hokies their first lead of the game. Taylor showed senior leadership and said afterwards he and his team never doubted themselves. It was the early on in the game, man. Um, I believe that the game's never over, so just to go out there and keep playing. Um. The Hokies held the lead with just over a minute to play, but Moore's touchdown pass to Austin Pettis was the final difference in this game, sending Hokie fans away dejected and the team searching for answers. A frustrating loss, um, knowing that we haven't been successful in the first game. Um, all these seasons, but uh, I think we have a good team to go out there and bounce back from this. So a crushing defeat for the Hokies, much like the 2008 loss at home to Boston College. They have a short week. They'll host James Madison at home on Saturday. Reporting from FedEx Field, Chris Reckling for the Sports Wrap.